Hello, welcome inside the mind of Matt. And I got some kinetic sand, and I'm gonna try casting with it. If you wanna see, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So my recent uh, lack of luck with uh, my Petrobond sand. I was at the store and I saw this kinetic sand and I've seen a couple of other videos on doing some aluminum casting with it. So I still got my bullions. I'm still messing around with these guys. Uh, my next attempt is going to be some lost PLA. So make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are on so you know when that video's out. But anyways, I got a couple of um, bacon pans that I'm going to pack this up and see if I can get some good impressions. And I got a bunch of scrap I'm going to melt up. My new crucibles in there, got some new tools. I'm almost set up over here and I'm going to melt. So. Let's check out the sand first. It's pretty cool stuff. It's a hunk of sand. You can mold it. As soon as you pull on it, it just becomes fluid. So that's one three pound bag of it, and I got two. Let's get this guy open. It does come inside of a bag. A bag and a bag. See how it does in this big pan. think I'm gonna pour it right in there hopefully it'll spill and fill right up all right time to melt some metal I know I got more than enough but I'm gonna get all this in the crucibles as well
because this is a freshly melted batch of aluminum, I do have a little degasser I'm going to put in it with just some uh, washing soda. Well, they cast it, they poured pretty, pretty good, I think. A little bit of flame coming off it right now. They're still pretty warm. I got the fire back on, and I still got a little bit left to melt over there, so I'm gonna finish that up. See how many ingots I can get. And then we'll pull these out after they cool down a little bit. See how they turned out. Keep watching. melting but I think it's time to take these guys and dunk it in some water so let's do that. So let's take a look at the sand here first. Uh, there was some flames, so a little bit of this white residue is kind of like some ash, I think. It's still really hot, but it's kind of turned... Ooh, that's really hot. It's turned the kinetic in, into basic sand, kind of. Uh, once this cools off enough, tomorrow, I'll see how much of it is actually turned to waste and uh, go from there more like a one-time use, a little bit more expensive than the Plaster Paris, I think, but the results are promising, so we're going to take a look at that, but I got more metal to mount first, so we're going to pour some ingots, then we'll take a look at that, and then we'll come up with the results of this kinetic sand casting.
rest of my pile. Guess I was just able to fill up that one crucible one time. So, as soon as that's ready, I'm going to be pouring some ingots. And then we'll take a look at the uh, final product from the kinetic sand. gas this batch again. All right, enough fun melting. Let's check out the results of this kinetic sand. Can I get a drum roll, please? Here's specimen number one. Nice bulky, I can Cut this part of it right off, polish it right up. There's still like a little bit of a sand residue on it. The letters are mostly raised. Let's check out the other two. brush. The results aren't perfect. Wasn't expecting. More of an experiment and a little bit of fun. But I think it picked up enough of the lettering where you can definitely tell that it's from inside the mind of man. Got a little cleaning up to do. Let's check out the sand. Alright, once again. You see? Just kind of bounce away. Definitely hard and crunchy. I'll probably throw all that hard stuff away.
Well, that's the results of the casting with some kinetic sand. It's not the best results, but fun experiment. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you if you have. Check out all the links I got down in the description for some money you can save, as well as a couple ways that you can help support the channel. Keep on coming back. Thanks for coming. There's going to be more inside the mind of that. Happy Britain. Be safe pouring.